this is a UV vis spectrometer, as you can see here. Um, so UV vis spectrometry is useful for the characterization of coordination compounds uh, by showing information of the electron transitions between the d orbitals. There are three types of cuvettes used for the UV vis spectrometer. Um, the plastic ones are used for um, aqueous solutions. So you can see here that there's two different sides to the cuvette. So there is a clear window here and an opaque frosted window there. And as you want light to pass through the clear window, you don't want to touch those sides. So you only want to touch the side of the frosted windows. The second type of cuvette is a glass cuvette. And this is used for all solvents and it is um, useful in the visible range. Um, as you can also see here, there is a clear side and an opaque side, so you would only want to touch the opaque side once again as the light passes through the clear window to collect the data. The third type of cuvette is a quartz cuvette, and this is useful um, for all solvents as well, but in the um, UV range. So this also has a frosted window on this side and a clear window there, so you would only want to touch the frosted side as we want it to be clear passing through the sample to collect the data. To prepare a sample solution, um, any liquid or aqueous solutions, you just add one drop of the um, desired product and then you would fill the rest of the cuvette with um, the solvent used. So for a solid sample, you're just going to add a few crystals into the bottom of the cuvette and fill the rest with a solvent and then mix it so it becomes a homogeneous solution. So I'm just going to use um, a little bit of crystals here. I'm going to add the solid or the solution to um, the cuvette. holding on to the frosted side. So then I'm going to take a clean pipette and I'm going to mix the solution by drawing the uh, solution into the pipette and putting it back into the cuvette. If your sample is too concentrated, you want to pour about half of the amount into the proper waste bin and add solvent back up into the top of the cuvette so the UV vis spectrometer will read in the proper range. To set this up, you just turn on this button here and it that should be fine as long as it is warmed up. And to set up the computer program, we are going to remove your glove always so no chemicals get on the mouse here. So this computer is always left on, so you just have to turn on the monitor and open the software icon uh, Carry UV, which is right here, and then you can choose Scan. So to set up the proper parameters that you need for this program, you're going to press Set Up here. Where we are doing an example of a visible trial here, we're going to change the wavelength, and the, so the X mode, so to start at 900 nanometers and stop at 360 nanometers. So the next thing you would do from here is you would go into the baseline tab and click baseline correction and then you're just going to press OK from there. So to prepare a blank sample you're going to fill up two cuvettes with the solvent that you are using with your overall procedure. Before you put the cuvette into the machine you want to clean the clear sides of the cuvette with um, a Kim wipe here to make sure there are no fingerprints or any other residue left on it. So you're going to put the cuvette into the spectrometer um, with the clear sides facing um, horizontally and you're going to put one in number one and push it down all the way and you're going to put the second cuvette in number seven and push it all the way down. 
And then from here, we just close the lid on the UV Viz spectrometer. And then we go back to the computer. Here, there is a screen that will say, insert a blank sample into the sample compartment and click OK to collect the 100% baseline scan. So here, we just wait until the start button turns green again. So as you can see, the green start button um, has lit up again. So to ensure that the, the system is zeroed, we are going to run a sample on the blanks. So to do this, you just press start. And you can make a file name related to your compound. So I'm just going to put in blank one. And then it will come up as sample name one. You press OK. So from here, we are going to put the sample into the UV Viz spectrometer. So you're just going to slide the top of it open, and to get out the sample, there is a little silver knob here. And you're just going to lift up, and that will pop um, the cell up so you can retrieve your cuvette. So you take it out through the frosted sides, the same way you put it in, and you can just properly dispose it in a waste bin. So to put the sample in, clean the sides with a Kim wipe to ensure that there is no residue left on the clear side of the cuvette. You're going to insert the sample into the machine the same way you put the blank in. So once it's pushed down all the way, make sure that the cuvette in uh, number 7 is pushed down all the way as well as we lifted it to remove the first cuvette. So from there, you're closing the lid and you will go back to the computer to press start. So this is sample two, so we're going to press OK. And once the green light shows on the start button, we are going to press start to retrieve the next sample. So when the sample is finished collecting, you're going to press the finish button. And here we are going to modify the graph to um, pull out any results that we find important. To make the scale proper so you can see a nice curve in the graph, you are going to press the scale graph button up top here. You can set the scale depending on which part of the graph you would like to see. So we can make our scale from 0 on the y-axis to 0 0.2. So as you can see, this uh, made the graph bigger so we can see the results we want. So next we want to find the XY coordinates of this peak here. So to do that, you're just pressing XY, and this um, icon is called Peak Labels. And we just want X labels here. So we're going to click the X label and OK. So as this is the point of interest, we do have um, the correct X coordinate that we are looking for here. So from here, we can print the graph to the printer and always remember to put your compound structure on the sheet when it is printed. So to turn off the system, you're going to exit out of the software and you're going to press OK. And exit out of here, you're going to turn the computer screen off. And then we are going to go over to the UV Viz spectrometer. You are going to open the lid Lift the silver button that we discussed earlier to eject the samples. So you're going to take each cuvette out. And you're going to slide the lid shut. And from here, you just turn off the spectrometer by clicking this button here. When the machine is turned off, you are going to put the samples in the correct waste bin and properly clean the cuvette for the next use.